Mama. Can we? Of course we can. That's our job, isn't it? It's wrong for that to be lost to the people. It's our mom. But you cannot make a necklace without running a string through those bits. We'll be the string for the necklace, won't we, Father? Don't you think I know it already, that being a string is our job?
you get out of here and right now. If you refuse to go, I'll charge you with trespassing. Oh, he scares me. Oh, honey, there's nothing for you to be afraid of. He's really a very nice man. Would you look at his face? He's just pretending to frighten you. That's all. That's right. He's what I call a handsome man. <laughs> if I were only ten years younger. I get all of it. Now, now, calm yourself. You seem to be under some terrible misunderstanding. You're making such a fuss, anybody might think we intended to do you some harm. Well, what do you intend if not to harm me? Why should you say such a thing? You're in a stranger's house here, okay? A stranger's house? A stranger's house? He certainly takes a very narrow view of things, doesn't he? But as a matter of fact, we are strangers, aren't we? You mustn't get so worked up over each little thing. What big difference does it make if we're strangers? A little thing like that shouldn't upset you, young man. Yes! When you get to know us better, you'll see we're just so relaxed and easygoing. It's positively funny. <laughs> Don't act silly. Whatever you may think, the fact is that this is my apartment. That's obvious. If it were in your apartment, you wouldn't even be here. <laughs> and if it weren't your apartment, you suppose we'd have listened in silence all this time to your belly aching. Hey, I told you. Lay off him. Well, I apologize. The fact is, I have a wee bit of hangover. Oh, my damn it. What? There's something on your... Get away from him! Let me do it for you. <laughs> Yeah, we can't go on standing around this way forever. Why don't we sit down and discuss things in a more relaxed mood? Yeah. This guy. <laughs> out of here! Get out of here! I only have to release my finger, and I'll be connected. To the police? Yes. Aren't you carrying things a bit too far? Yeah, it's a misunderstanding. A complete misunderstanding. I have no time to bend words with you. I'll give you until I count ten. That's all. I advise you to start getting ready. One. Stop. I forbid you to use violence. Yes, we don't want people saying bad things about it. So Three. stop it. Uh, all, all right, all right. How about, as a last resort, abiding by the will of the majority? Four. <laughs> There's 
nothing to smile about. I'm sure he was quite in earnest in doing what he did. But how can we help smiling? Burglary call it. Really? Burglary? If a cat denounced a mouse as a burglar, you couldn't keep the mouse from smiling just by telling it shouldn't. I mean, he of course doesn't mean any harm. <coughs> yes, sir. They are eight of them. But I am all alone. <laughs> Don't be so stubborn. You still have a few minutes left before the patrols can come. I advise you not to waste your last chance. Yeah. Look at that! She's bringing them little something in the kitchen! Uh, 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 uh. The menu for tonight is two bottles of milk, six eggs, a loaf of bread, a bag of popcorn, one slice of mackerel, ooh, a pickle and some relish, and then uh, two slices of bread and whale meat, salad oil, and the usual spices. Mm, quite a good food, <coughs> Thank you. 
of all the colossal nerves, but we have no choice. You consider yourself to be a human being, don't you? It stands to reason. Then it is your privilege and also your duty to live in a manner of worthy human being. Well, I'm sorry, but this will give you an idea of the situation. Please, come right in. The coffees are still holding up. I'm glad you got here in time. Oh, now it's two of you? Oh, ma'am, it's good to have you along. To back me up, please, come right in. Yeah, there are eight of them all together. The other one should be in the kitchen. I don't have to specify it, right? You've caught them red handed in the act. According to the complaint, illegal trespassing has occurred on this premises. That's it, precisely that. In other words, even though you, the injured party, have plainly indicated to the parties responsible for the injury your wish that they not intrude into your apartment. Well, naturally, I've indicated it. The offenders have brutally ignored or resisted the wishes of the injured party. Ignore is a my word for it. I don't need such evidence. All you have to do is look. They are eight against one. Eight against one. And not a single bone broken. <laughs> Things are a little hard to prove violence, doesn't it? The question would seem to arise. Rather, why the company should have conceived such hostility towards these people? His motive. Wait, do you suspect me? It's not that we suspect you. But complaints lost over private family matters often create a lot of trouble for us. This is ridiculous. I don't even know these people. What are we to do about this, Henry? I'm glad to offer my service in helping to patch up the difficulty and make the way necessary. Why can't you just trust what I say? I told you, I have no connection with these people. It doesn't make sense to patch things up amicably. Why don't you ask them? Mm, that won't be necessary. I think I've got a pretty good idea of the essential point. It's my conclusion that there's been no injury to speak of. But it's illegal entry. It's trespassing, isn't it? We always ask the concerned parties in such private disputes to try to slander them among themselves. The police have their hands full as it is, but with a shortage of men. I told you have an idea. These people are complete strangers. Excuse me for mentioning it, but you wouldn't be suffering from a persecution complex, would you? <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, you can tell them, can't you, ma'am? You know, I'm the one who has always paid the rent. Like, the, the apartment is registered under my name. Even the letters, they are delivered here to me. You can surely box for me. Well, I can't say for sure. You cannot say for sure? I've always made it my practice. As long as the tenant pays the rent promptly each month, never to buy into his private life. But I can surely ask you to box for the fact that I am the tenant. Oh, I'd rather not go into such things. You know, in a place like this, you know, an apartment, no. the person who lives in our apartment isn't always as the same who pays the rent. I can imagine. In the case of a young unmarried woman living alone. Mm. And as in actual cases, you made me send money orders even without the sender's name. But I, but I signed and sealed the contract, didn't I? Oh, come now. You mustn't get so excited. Of course, I understand your problem. But if there's no injury worth reporting at this stage. Oh, this is absurd. Why can't you just trust what I see? If you go on insisting there has been no injury even after what happened, well, there's nothing left for me to say. Well, in the event you do suffer any serious injury, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us again. It doesn't look as if I can write a charge to go make a case. I'm sorry to have bothered you all. Officer, what do you mean? What am I supposed to do now? They're still there? Officer, 
sense and same time an accomplished fact. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. It's quite a shock to him. Let's look at him. He's still standing in the gaze. Well, I'm doing good to have such an experience once. But I don't understand him. Why? Even a child knows how lonely it is to be without friends. Well, he's called up to his work.
Yeah, but there's a big difference between cats and cat burglars, isn't there? <laughs> yes, there's also a big difference between burglars and cat burglars. Then you're saying I'm a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so conceited, Grandma. But that's what he did. He called me a cat burglar. I'm sure he meant it as a compliment to you. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, so there might be different in the meaning. In other words, did he mean by a cat that resembles a burglar or a burglar that resembles a cat? I don't care what he said. I'm not a cat. <laughs> That's so I guess. If you were a cat, Grandma, uh -huh. that would make us all half-breed cats. <laughs> Therefore, the logical meaning must be a cat like burglar. <laughs> now, that reads the final, doesn't it? Why should it? He didn't say she is a burglar, plain and simple, but a cat-like burglar. Yeah, but a burglar is still a burglar. <laughs> the only difference is whether the word has an adjective before it or not. I'm not a burglar! Hey, hurry up and help us in the kitchen, won't you? I have more important things to do. And can't you see if we are having a serious discussion here? Anyway, I'm not a cat. Stop it, won't you? I can't stand you speaking so sneerly about cats! Why don't you throw the whole thing for Peter's sake? Alright, I can't settle this by paying a fine, right? It's too ridiculous. I told you I wasn't a cat! There you have the problem. I'm not a cat. What difference does it make? The long and short of it is that I have to pay a fine, right? But the basic principle of communal living is to respect on each other's opinion. Respect? Is that so? Oh, I'm delighted to hear it from you. I wish you could remember it. Uh, at this rate, we'll never get to eat dinner. Mm, sorry to keep you waiting. Dinner will be ready in just a few minutes. Please, please help me dish out the food. Dinner? In this middle? Oh my God, in the middle of this crazy nonsense? In my house. I told you, haven't I? I intend to use any mean that I have to affirm anything that you do. And you, get rid of that mess. Throw it in the garbage can. But that will be a terrible waste. Yeah, because it's it's just so good. It smells good. Um, by the way, whatever happens to the fight we were talking about? I heard about cats. Um, we didn't seem to be able to make any conclusion about our discussion of cats. And the person in question doesn't seem very enthusiastic about a majority decision. I'll pay, I'll pay, I tell you. You don't suppose I want to pay your debt for me a hundred yen. By the way, I'm paying not because I acknowledge I was at fault, but simply because I don't feel like arguing over something extremely stupid. Stupid? Damn it, that's funny. Why? What happened? Was it your wallet? Or do you carry your money list? No, I put it in the wallet. Along with my monthly ticket. I can't imagine I dropped it. What's the matter with all you? <laughs> Have I done something wrong? Tell us. Didn't you do it, brother? What are you talking about anyway? It's not true, is it? I'm sure you wouldn't stoop to that sort of thing. I mean, at a critical moment like this, we must, above all, show the greatest respect for the integrity of the individual. But he's got a criminal record, you know? Stop it, you're ruining my reputation. Well, everybody, of course, has committed youthful indiscretion. Haven't I told you I've washed my hands of all that?
you have nothing to worry about, mother. Then you're innocent. Then you should have said our minds at rest sooner. I mean, I haven't done anything that warrants a physical examination. Liar! You took it then! You've got to keep your eye out him every minute. Take me on his head, friend, please, won't you? Down with it, give it back! Just a minute ago, you were the 
didn't know see him so. Well, if you're so confident that that was exactly your wife. Yeah. Well, then, tell me, how much was in it? I told you, I don't know. You don't know? And yet you say it's your money? Well, not much. 5,600 yen? That's all. 5,600 yen? I suppose it's just before you pay it. I had all of your time, damn it! I give you the money, just get out of here, will you? Okay, and it's not the money you want. I'll give you anything else. Just get out of here. <laughs> Do you really mean it? Ah, ah you can't wait for me. You promised from the start. <laughs> go right ahead. Don't mind me. Go right ahead. Oh, if you like the rats in the ceiling, you can have them too. <laughs> but all of it is under one condition. All of you leave at one. I'll give you five, no, ten minutes. That's all. I won't make an, I won't make an allowance for even one minute past the deadline. Honestly, if you ask me, there's nothing anybody wants here. The place lacks the fair necessity. It'll take a bit of doing to at least my apartment, okay? Exactly. This is the apartment we choose. Well, what do you know? These shoes fit me perfectly. Oh, oh, nice. Wait, yeah, nice. Uh, oh, one good thing. Oh. I'm of you. Just leave me alone, will you? Just take those stuff and get away from here. I just want to be alone. But, but I understand. It's all a joke, right? It's a prank. But I'm against this. I'm exhausted. I just don't feel like it anymore. Can you just please, please, I beg of you, just leave me here alone. Uh, stand up, please, young man. It's embarrassing for us if you're going to act that way. Our only wish coming here is to promote happiness, to serve you somehow, in whatever way we can. That is what first led us to come here. I mean, we heard your voice crying for help, so we searched that we found you through the long, dark tunnel. We want to give you, if not the sun, at least the light from a glowing lump of coal. But, but I, I never cried for help. It refreshes me to be alone. <laughs> That's conceit, pure conceit. Why? The thing that hits you the hardest in prison is solitary confinement. That's right. I know. When I'm alone, I feel desperate. Even when I'm left to look after the house, I feel like I have to go out of my mind. It's all written down in Mother Goose. Um, the thing about moving and the shape, um, how did it go again? But I never interfere with other people and I don't want to be interfere with myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
that there was funny noise in the kitchen, yeah. Wait, what? Of course I'm alone. Of course. A sneeze? A woman sneeze? Don't be silly. <laughs> have been critical of my attitude toward the tenants in apartment class. And unpleasant rumors are being spread that I was brought over by the visitors or uh, what occurred. That I reached some sort of misunderstanding or understanding with one of the other two brothers and given a fast keeper apartment house. I realized having had the misfortune to only lose my husband only a few years ago, there's nothing I could do about it if people meaning to be sympathetic say, she must have needed money, or she must have been lonely. But I will take an oath that I am speaking the absolute truth when I say the first time that I ever laid eyes on those people was when the first time I saw them in apartment class. You know, in my business, you get to be a pretty good judge of a character. And I could see at once that there was nothing particularly suspicious about those people. The tenants in this building are all my valued guests. And the guests of my guests, you could say, are also my guests. That's why I'm sure you'll understand I couldn't very well make uncalled for remarks just simply because there's been some sort of misunderstanding. And I wish to take advantage of the occasion to provide a secret in all candor to tell the truth that situations of these kinds are not in the least unusual. And in my business, things like this happen all the time. I wonder if, all, if the gentleman doesn't know much about people after 
So I'm sure you're the one who'll be able to tell me what's been going on with my fiance. You know, it's hard to keep a woman from wondering when he has eight people living in a house with him. Tell me, why do you think he's been acting so secretly? As if he's playing hide and seek with me. Well, from what I understand, you said five of them were women, right? They certainly make an odd group of people. I mean, five children, the parents, and the grandma. Imagine that they would impose themselves on him just like that. They say they intend to warm and envelop him in neighborly love. I mean, they've completely forgotten you, then. I'm sure if you're willing, they'd be delighted for you to join them. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, you know. Well, is that all?
phrase so enthusiastically to know how to, how to answer. We are keeping an absolute secret. A secret? Nonsense. We haven't any secrets, have we? That's right. We honest people. We are. I'm sorry. I don't mean. Let me out! Let me out of here!
Nobody's forgotten anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> the end of our play. We would like to express our heartfelt thanks to our admirable lecturers, our Tessa Bechmates who came to support us, and to all of you who came to watch us tonight. And not forgetting the committee of Tessa's Literary Production, who had worked hard for our event to be a success. Give it up for the production team, Sarah, Crystal, and Marui. Team, which consists of Norul, Aina, and Nina. Our technical team, Shoyu and Abamdin. As a token of appreciation, let us give a big round of applause to the entire cast. Starting with Superintendent and our makeup artist, we have Shafika. Next, our police officers, Farah and Fiona. Our reporter, played by Izati. The fiancé and our publicity manager, played by Mika. Next, the youngest daughter, Naifa. Our youngest son, played by Jojo. The middle daughter of the family, played by Dania. The eldest son, and also our costume manager, Harid. The mother 
member of the family played by Dina. Let's go, Dina. And the father, and also known as our music director, Razman Shah. And last but not least, the play wouldn't be complete without the man, Akmal. manager and also your host for tonight. And of course, our play would be lost without the direction of our director, Dr. Rose. We, the Literacy Production team, would like to thank you once again for making this event a memorable one. 